she put on a show. She put on a show. Look, look at it. She's in that dress. That Do you dress. see? Wow. <laughs> we won't mention her dandruff. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then, in a coup de theart, that went into this. Tear well, away. Yeah. Yes. Two outfits on top of each other. No, but that's quite hard to put the white outfit on top of the black outfit. It's hard. It's very Snaps. hard. Yes. And then just in a minute. And now, a bit like 13, she's off to the Oscar, she doesn't get her Oscar. But by the way, can I say that in Hannah, like, I literally wanted to learn how to fight after really? I saw that movie. I'll teach you if you want. Yes. <laughs> Good. Good. Oh, I'm glad you liked it. And you carried that whole movie. It was like just you and so much of the movie. Aw. It's fantastic. Thanks. Yeah. It's a bit of a love-in. Who's going to sit beside me? Because <laughs> Taylor and Richard, you read at the Golden Globes. We yeah. did. We sat, actually sat next to each other. Oh. Oh, nice. It was very nice. Yeah. She said, why are you here? Actually, I'm nominated. Oh, really? For what? Uh, <laughs> best actor Best actor. In a movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, oh. that was, I really put my foot in my mouth on that one. And then, you know, but then I was absolutely freaked out because I, I met your wife, Carrie, who, and I said, it's so good to see you again. And she's like, in her head, I know she's going, never met this never girl before. Met. But it's because she was like my yeah. favorite assistant district attorney on Law and & Order. And so I literally see her every week. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't know it. <laughs> yeah. It was a good night for me. I was really on. Listen, you've had a fantastic uh, couple of years. Yeah. Um, Iron Man, of course. Uh, <laughs> and um, look at that. And I read in an interview so, uh, with Gwyneth Paltrow, and she, was, well, she wasn't sure about doing Iron Man, and I you phoned her to, to talk her into it. Do you, do you know this story? Yes. If the, uh, the only thing I'm better at than uh, occasionally acting is convincing people to come do movies with me that they don't know if they should do or not. <laughs> <laughs> but I liked your reason. Did you, you said, didn't you say to her, wouldn't you like to be in a film that people see? Yeah. <laughs> I rest my case. <laughs> and then my big job on this one was, was helping them cast uh, Jude Law to play Watson, which wound up being about the smartest thing we could have done. Because so, he actually, he's, he's really good. He's very, very he's funny. He's so great in this movie. I, I'm really looking forward to people enjoying him in it as well. Yeah, because normally he's just played as a bit of a dunce. <laughs> well, I know he is, but Watson he, is. He, he Watson is. <laughs> no, Watson is. <laughs> But he wasn't. I mean, really, in the original books, he's a, he's a decorated soldier and he's a, a bit of a womanizer and a gambler. And, but they always cast him as some guy who's got his foot in a wastebasket and kind of looks like a schmuck next to Sherlock, probably to make Sherlock look smarter. Maybe we shouldn't. <laughs> anyway, Jude's just great in the movie and really fun, and he's, he was really fit, too, and we had a great time. I think it's probably the real heart of the movie is his relationship with Watson, kind of like it was in the books. And it's, it's sort of sweet how jealous you are of the wife or the, the fiancé. I'm feeling kind of sweet right now. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I got a nice feeling. Good. Yeah. You should. How do you feel when people talk about their feelings in England? Is that all right? Here it's a safe place. Thank you. <laughs> Another thing, I'm, I know I'm going to get this wrong a lot. Uh, Charlize no, Theron. No, I was just... I was back there freaking out. You're like the first person who said it perfectly. Really? Yes. I'll stop now. I won't yes. say it again. It's amazing. 15 years, and then you came along. <laughs> Don't change us here. Now, by the way, you guys, do you know each other outside of being back there or on a sofa? I know John. And I don't know Steve. <laughs> no, John, because I've seen him on the telly. <laughs> not real. I know, I know. <laughs> um, now, it is Jubilee weekend. Uh, do you have plans? Uh, anybody got plans? For I, uh, I didn't realize it was Jubilee weekend, but when I got here, I got in town uh, a couple days ago and was invited, uh, I guess, to sit next to the Queen <gasps> um, on the boat. No, you're joking. The, uh, That's amazing. Uh, yeah, uh, no, are you joking? Sort of not, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know her. <laughs> It's a long thing, and what are we going to talk about? <laughs> I don't own crowns or, or tiaras or... No, I don't know if you're joking dogs. or not. Are you joking? Oh, no, I'm completely joking. Yeah, oh. He has been invited on the boat. I'm really confused now. Are you being invited on the boat? No. <laughs> well, no. But did you lie to him as well? Lie to me as well. Yes. John. Oh. <laughs> It's a great story. It really is. I didn't even know there was going to be a boat. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and these 
least you were thinking, huh? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do they know I have an Oscar? <laughs> Did they not know? It's just another thing you don't have in common with the Queen. <laughs> now, Charlize Theron. Mm. Now, we're delighted you're here for all sorts of reasons. I'm but... so happy to be I'm a huge fan. Thank you. <laughs> Sarah Jessica Parker, and you're wearing jeans and a jumper. <laughs> You idiot. <laughs> you look divine. <laughs> no, I have to say, if you're going to dinner, people must feel threatened. Kind of like, we've no. got to look fabulous, because you're going to be there. No, no. First of all, no one wants to have dinner with me. And, oh. and second of all, um, I, no, I, I, don't, I, I don't think that, that I have that effect on people. I think that perhaps there's some lines that are blurred, the Carrie Bradshaw, yeah. Sarah Jessica. Well, look what you pressured me I, into wearing. Well, you look... <laughs> You guys, you guys, do you know each other? Very well. Yes. Not, well, not very well, but well. Fairly well. Yes, good For well. many years. Many years. Very good. Now, are you We're the same age. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am before and she's after. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Because you have this, you are a style icon. You, you, I mean, I know that's ridiculous to say to somebody, but it's true. Designers love you, don't they? I mean, none of them have to live with me. <laughs> yeah, but they love their clothes. Nice. I, I, I like borrowing them a lot. <laughs> but we've seen the pictures in, uh, in the movie Sex and City Two, mm -hmm. the '80s. Yes. Uh, this is you. Hardly an iconic moment. <laughs> Anyone remember that period? Don't deny it. I so do. Don't you? Do you know what really dates the picture? Smoking. I know. Yeah. That was so important. I wanted to make sure we had that in there. And I put my mole back. Oh, and look, and still a black string of guest appearance in the background. <laughs> How weird. <laughs> Little cameo. <laughs> uh, sisters. Because uh, <laughs> it must have been quite fun. You must have uh, enjoyed all of that. Oh, we loved it. Digging in the old <laughs> archives for some horrible thing that you wish you never had worn. Well, in Did the you... archives of... Things you wish we'd never have oh, worn. Oh, dear God. No, no. I find <laughs> Ms. John Rivers. Uh, <laughs> it's like you're in a Ferrero Rocher. It's, a... <laughs> it's extraordinary. I mean, yeah, it was yeah. extraordinary at the time I wore it to an award show. I hope you still have it. I, have, I, I save them to sell on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> Does that interest me? Because you both have all these clothes. I mean, do you keep all the clothes? Um, whatever they'll allow me. Whatever's legal to keep, I keep. Well, what do you do? Well, I archive it. She get, I archive very things like that, which is Bill Blass, who's yeah. no longer alive. But the regular ones, I give to Guide Dogs of the Blind once a year. They have a, a wonderful sale yeah, called Posh. The They're laughing, but they, for once you're actually yeah. serious. Yeah, for, for once I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> Blind people go, this is great. But, uh, <laughs> See the for, a laugh. Yeah. for a laugh. For a laugh. But they do this big sale once a year, and I give it to them, most of the clothes. Uh, me too. No. <laughs> oh. Now, and when you left the stand up, why did you stop stand up? I, because I'd been very lonely, and then suddenly I had loads of superficial friends. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, I, that's I fair. Did, yeah, I, there was that kind of rage about certain things and then you're going life's actually got really good and uh, as a character I, I can't go out and moan about being on the other side of the traps because you're kind of drawn into being light entertainment and you, you, you are mixed with the beautiful people whether you like it or not and, you know whatever and you're going I'm nothing to be angry about at the moment <laughs> When you were doing the stand-up, you did work in terrible venues. Uh, what, this, is, this, is, this is a vile story. <laughs> I played a venue that once you were in there, there was no toilets backstage. And the only way out was through the audience. And I was very much... I didn't like people to see me before. Yeah. And kind of being in character was hunched over a bottle of vodka, and you're going, I, I needed the loo, and I, and I really need the loo, and I didn't want to break the show, because you know it's Edinburgh, you've got the one hour, there's, there's no way of taking a break, and it was a good show. I, I wasn't panning it out. <laughs> and the only thing in the dressing room was a Pringles box. <laughs> the longer one. <laughs> oh, not, not but, the mini but, one. I'm not... <laughs> <laughs> not but! <laughs> I think it's 
somebody found this and came up with the mini pack because <laughs> <laughs> with the longer pack, <laughs> I managed. This should have been on the learning zone of the Open University. <laughs> I managed to turn it halfway down, create a catchment area. <laughs> If you've grown up and your mum's a cleaner, somebody's got to clean up after you. Yeah. Right, I didn't want this to be anybody's responsibility. So I had a... <laughs> <laughs> I don't revel in this, but... <laughs> when I was hunched over the Pringles pack, I was actually thinking, you're the professional. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had a constant area. Which then allowed me to... This would be the best Dragon's Den ever. <laughs> <laughs> Which then allowed me to tip it into the remaining third of the Pringles pack. Oh. Then fold in the soiled earlier on top, which <laughs> won't keep the smell in, and still put the plastic end on top. <laughs> so it, looked... it looked like a snack size. <laughs> I wasn't proud, but the best thing was, it fit in my pocket. <laughs> so I did an entire gig... <laughs> ..with a snack-sized Pringle pack, <laughs> full of poo, <laughs> in my pocket... <laughs> ..with three judges in from the penny here. <laughs> just going, what is the right time to go? It's one of them boingy snakes. <laughs> Keep the scoop, but I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs>